And it's two balls and two strikes now. I got to count two and two. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. So digging in now, Trey Turner. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. Oh, and he goes down to get the fastball as this is hit well onto deep left center field. And he is going to ride this one right out of here. Home run. Standing in now, Luis Robert. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing in a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Slap hard the opposite way. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he's safe. Now back. At the plate, right. Ian Happ. Pulled yeah. high in the air out to right field. Walker will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. A new pitcher to tell you about now is it'll be the hard throwing Fernando Rodney that gets the nod here. The second baseman, Outfield in the no doubles defense now the first pitch. Mookie Betts is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. 2-0. Nope. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The 3-1. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder is on the run, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Into the box, Fernando Tatis Jr. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Comes set and the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. The one two right side but it's going to be a foul ball and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning so a runner at first now with one away and here comes junior as a look now the pitch low for ball one and it's a ball and a strike to Ken Griffey Jr. Runner at first here, one man out. The ball and two strikes. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sheffield. He's one for four for the game. Owen won the count. That strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. There seem to be different philosophies. Drives it out to deep right center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And a relay to the plate. He's safe at the plate. And we are tied here in the eighth. Into the box now. Babe Ruth. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peterson on the run. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go ahead run is left stranded. It'll be the four hole hitter, Jock Peterson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The oldest this Chapman will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. From the stretch. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. -oh. A swing and a miss, strike one. Ball one strike. And there's ball two now. And right into the shift. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. 
Now the pitch. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full. Three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first, the first out here in the ninth. Henley. Now to the plate, Hanley Ramirez. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch-out. Hanley Ramirez goes down for out number two in the top half. No balls in one strike. Comes set. The 0-1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. One and two. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Griffey Jr. is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Digging in to try it again. Buster Posey. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. And he takes ball one. In tight with the sinker. Ball two. Kirby Yates takes the ball now in any. Number nine looking to close the door. Strike called, two and one. I got two on the count. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. Larry Walker is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And he takes this one high, one and one. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Blake now, Mickey Mantle batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. And he misses with it, one and one. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Robert is there, two gone. Rogers Hornsby will grab a bat to pinch hit here, and you wonder if he'll be swinging for the downs trying to walk off with a victory. Strike one to start the at bat. Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball one and one. Line to the right side. Hap is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Anderson takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. 
Labor Torres is up off the bench to pinch hit here, so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frames. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. Now here's the pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. One out, nobody on. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He went deep last time up. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. This is line to left. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Peter Fairbanks comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Ready once again, Mookie Betts. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Whew, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Well, it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Still two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And the winning run will reach. It's a leadoff walk to start the home half here in extra inning. How about it? Here's the first pitch. Fernando Tatis Jr. is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And, and this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One one. That's on the corner to put him behind now. 1-2. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Ah, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Here's the first pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance. It's ball one. The 1-0. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now that the third base. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Babe Ruth comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's a one and oh. Well, this is lined into left center, and it's going to get down out there. And they're going to walk off as winners. They've taken it here in extra inning. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk off for the win? Wow. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one, really put the guys on his back, and carried him to the victory. the ball game. Three hours and 41 minutes. Thank you for joining us.